Hi guys and welcome to the channel. You're watching The Electric Singularity. Now, as you may already know, the Tesla Model 3 sedan is now the highest selling luxury sedan in the world. The highest selling luxury sedan in the world. Obviously, that's a lot of sedans coming out of Tesla at a high cost. Now, it might not be for you, but for the average person, 50,000 US dollars is quite a lot of money. Now, remember, Tesla now sells a vehicle built on that platform using around about 70% of the Model 3's parts. That is the Model Y. The Model Y is on track to become the world's best selling car. It's very likely Model Y becomes the world's best selling car within 12 months from now. Maria Murano reports for Teslarati. Elon Musk projected that the new Tesla Model Y could become the world's best selling car by 2022 or 2023. Musk announced that the Tesla Model 3 became the best selling luxury sedan of any kind in the world during its latest earnings call. Based on Tesla's calculations, the Model Y could beat the Model 3's record. I'd say more likely than not, in 2022, Model Y is the best-selling car or truck of any kind in the world, said Elon Musk during the Q1 2021 earnings call. Now, guys, I think Musk has done the numbers on this. I don't think he just pulled this information out of his hat. I think he's looked at the numbers. He's looked at the battery supply Tesla will have. He's looked at the demand for electric crossovers, and he's actually worked this out. I don't think he's just saying this off the top of his hat. I think he's saying this because he's worked out that, is that it is mathematically very likely that this will happen. Dave Lee said, if you missed TSLA's earnings, the highlight was Musk sharing in the call that he thinks Tesla's Model Y will become the top selling vehicle of any kind in 2022 or 2023. The world's top selling car currently is Corolla at 1.5 million units per year. So Musk is saying, Model Y is going to sell more than 1.5 million units. Therefore, what is he telling you about Tesla's future battery capacity? I think he's saying a lot. If you read between the lines, I think he's saying a hell of a lot, and it's worth really thinking about this. After the call, Musk reiterated his projection on Twitter, responding to longtime investor Dave Lee, who pointed out that the Model Y vehicles Tesla would need to produce and deliver to become the world's top, top selling vehicle. He said, seems quite likely, at least based on revenue in 2022 and 2023, possible units in 23, Musk said. Last year, Ford sold the most vehicles thanks to its F-Series, reported Forbes. The legacy automaker sold 787,422 total vehicles in 2020 a notable accomplishment considering the pandemic. We're talking here the Ford F-Series cars. Ford experienced a 12.2% change in F-Series sales, revealing the impact of the pandemic. Sales decreased of Ford's most popular F-Series models by 12.2% during the pandemic. On the other hand, sales of Tesla's models all dramatically increased. For individual vehicle sales, Chevrolet Silverado was among those that topped the ranks in 2020 with over 500,000 sold. Given COVID's hovering presence worldwide, Tesla is aiming to beat Ford and Chevy's 2020 sales in the short term, and they will do it. A year before the pandemic in 2019, the top selling vehicle in the world was the Toyota Corolla with over 1.2 million models sold that year, calculated by Statista. In 2020, Tesla nearly produced 500,000 vehicles in total. Tesla Gigafactory Texas and Giga Berlin Model Y production could help the company reach sales numbers closer to the Toyota Corolla's 2019 top selling record. Gigafactory Shanghai has already started Model Y production and will probably make significant contributions to meet Tesla's goal for the product. Obviously, they are dramatically ramping up production of Model Y at Shanghai. So, those numbers coming out of Shanghai for Model Y will continue to increase over the upcoming months.
Model Y production rate in Shanghai continues to improve quickly and two new factories, Berlin and Texas, are making progress, wrote Tesla in his update letter for Q1 2021. But guys, remember, Consumer Reports said that if you blow it up and send the parts to the bottom of the ocean, it stops being a good car. My point is, don't listen to the noise. Consumer Reports, the media, all they want is clickbait. They want eyes. They need your attention. They will say or do anything to get it. Tesla's sales will continue to rise despite these ridiculous attacks from the media. Look for a huge increase in Tesla's sales Q in Q1 2022 over Q1 2021. Now, I believe Tesla will have at least double the battery capacity they currently do now in 12 months time. And that battery capacity is only going to increase as Tesla has obviously planned to ramp up battery production continuously and to never stop ramping it up. They will dominate the market because of the battery supply they have. This will allow them to have the number one selling car in every niche, be that sedan, crossover, pickup truck, semi, or anything else. When they enter that market, they will take over that market. It is statistically the most likely scenario to happen. Guys, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.